Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this really nice looking fire background effect and it's super simple, we just need a few tricks which I will show you in a second so yeah, I'd say let's go so let's just create a new solid and look for the effect lens flare it's under generate and just apply it to our solid and now we have to add an even more important effect which is the turbulent displace effect so just apply this as well and yeah this looks kind of weird but as we play with the settings we can see where this is going so first change the amount to 200 and the complexity to 10 and yeah now this looks kind of interesting already but let's add um, a tritone effect and put the midtones to a bright orange so it will look a bit like fire and as you can see this looks quite interesting so yeah but it doesn't move at all so maybe let's animate this real quick so put a keyframe at the beginning at the flare center so if you click on this you can actually play around with this so let's just put it in a, in a corner at the beginning and place a keyframe then go to the end of our animation, which could be 10 seconds or in my case just a few seconds, but it's up to you. And just move it somewhere else. And yeah, now we got this, this cool effect. And But this is kind of empty right here. So let's just duplicate the lens there with Ctrl D like two or three times. And for everyone, for every lens flare effect, let's change the, yeah, the position animation so select someone and now just put the the star to like over here and the oh wait let's let's actually remove the keyframe so it will won't have the old keyframes so yeah just put a, a start keyframe at the beginning then go to the end and put the um yeah the lens there somewhere else so now we got this cool effect and now we can select the, another lens flare and let's remove the keyframe as well at the beginning and just um, yeah, bring this somewhere here maybe, keyframe it, go to the end and move it down and now we got this cool effect and we can just do this until we have a nice result. So maybe let's just duplicate the lens flare again. Remove the keyframe and put it somewhere where, it is, where it's empty. So maybe like here at the beginning. And place the keyframe and go to the end. And bring it somewhere where it's empty. And now we got this cool effect. And of course in this case, um, yeah, the, this, there's a lot of fire going on in the middle. So maybe let's, let's even duplicate it one more time. Remove the keyframes and make one that goes from the upside to the downside. So maybe put the start in here, keyframe, go to the end and just let it go down like this. And yeah, now we have this really cool looking effect. I think it looks, looks amazing and really interesting because like we use the lens flare because the lens flare has a lot of small details so it's not just a bright point even if it looks like it but the lens flare also has a lot of small points that are just going yeah in the yeah in the corners and everywhere so i think this is really cool but of course you can you can play with everything so maybe you can get a <laughs> or probably you can get a better result with placing nicer keyframes so yeah it won't just be in the middle so everywhere but yeah, that's it.